y'all welcome to my channel my name is Paige today I'm going to be sharing with you how I primped and packed my hospital bag so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe before you leave and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up for me so getting started I definitely am a planner at heart at least I strive to be <laughs> so my first go-to is always Pinterest for anything because I know there's going to be tons and tons of lists so not only did I check Pinterest, but I also just went through and watched some fellow YouTubers hospital bag videos to get a better idea of some products that they thought were very useful in the hospital. And I wanted to make sure that I had as minimal things as possible. But not only that, I needed to make sure that I was spending a decent amount of money. I didn't want to go out here and buy all these crazy priced things. And that is where Shop Tagger comes into play. This video is being sponsored by them. This is not the first time I've worked with them before. I absolutely love this app because you are able to keep an eye on products that you're super interested in getting at the best possible price so it makes your life so much easier especially because you can organize everything which once again makes me super happy so I have different lists I have one for baby stuff I have one for all my hospital postpartum stuff so I was able to make sure that I got all the things that I needed at the best possible price so I absolutely love shop tagger if you have not checked it out just yet I will have a link down below their latest feature will add the best coupon code to your cart when shopping on these sites so that you are able to get even more so of the best price possible. The service is 100% free. You can download the app on your phone as well as downloading the extension onto your computer so you can easily shop, organize all the things that you're searching for, and finally get your hands on items that you have been eyeballing for some time now. So I absolutely love Shop Tagger, and I know you guys will too. So now it's time to go ahead and start packing all of the items that I was able to get a really good discounting price on because I had been watching them for a few months. Um, I knew as soon as I got pregnant there were certain things that I was going to need so I went ahead and added those things to the list on Shop Tagger, and I was able to get them at the best possible price. So now I'm going to pack everything and of course I'm going to share all of the items that I have packed with you. <music> All right, so now it's time for me to dive into all the goodies that's going to go into my hospital bag. Some of them are still kind of up in the air. <laughs> Some of them are not in here yet because they're items that we still are using. Those are things that I'm going to have to put on a list to make sure that we grab before we leave the house. So I'll go ahead and say the daddy stuff first. I feel like some people don't necessarily show daddy stuff. I'm not showing the daddy stuff, but I'm going to tell you what we're bringing for Cody. And that is going to be a blanket and a pillow to sleep with because... They don't have the best place for them to sleep in there, so we wanna make it a little more comfy for him. Two different changes of clothes, and they are going to be like joggers kind of thing, with like a t-shirt, nothing crazy. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and deodorant, and then something to wash with. We're gonna pick something very basic so that both of us can wash with it, and both of us can use the toothpaste, so that we're not packing a bunch of different stuff. But that's pretty much it for daddy. The baby list, so first things first, is a car seat, and that is already installed in our truck we did that about a week ago <laughs> because I was just like we're getting close we might get to go ahead and put it in there so car seats number one it's already installed we are going to check it um, they always suggest to go to a fire department and have them check it so we're going to do that in the near future my boppy pillow this one I got at Target this color I think you can only get at Target like this slip cover that comes on it they have a ton of different slip covers but I was told to make sure you bring the boppy um, a lot of people say that it's kind of like an extra thing. Some people say you need it. It gives you a break from, you know, like when you're breastfeeding and you're holding them, they're so tiny, it just kind of helps. Gives you that little bit of assistance. So making sure I bring that, and I'm probably gonna leave it in this plastic bag because it's just easier to transport, I guess, I don't know. Her name sticker, which I'm not gonna show you because we are not sharing her name until she's born, but make sure if you're gonna use those that you have them with you. The letter board. So we're also gonna do that if I can remember to get it. It's not in this right now. I have it packaged away in my office, so I really need to make sure I get it or I will not have that in the hospital. But we want to take the cute little like bassinet pictures in the hospital with the little sign. You can put their name and their weight and height and what time they were born and all of that. So 
that's something else we wanted to bring for baby. After looking through so many different lists and watching different hospital bag videos, I seem to bring like two different changes of clothes for the baby. I don't know if that includes the coming home outfit or not, but this is most likely going to be her little homecoming outfit. And I love this. Newborn Nest actually sent us this whole little set for the hospital and it comes in this nice little bag. I still have to wash all of this, so I kind of got it like set to the side. But it comes with a burp cloth, a hat, a little um, like mattress cover thing for the bassinet that's in the room with you. Uh, a swaddle and the actual gown itself oh and it also comes with a blanket so it, everything comes in a bag so I'm guessing I'm really just gonna need maybe one other outfit I don't really know I'll probably just grab something out of her drawer a newborn size I guess I have no idea how big she's gonna be so I also read to make sure you bring two different sizes of things so maybe I'll bring one newborn and one zero to three month I don't know but this pretty much has everything already in it then i have a swaddle and a blanket but like i already showed you there's a swaddle and a blanket there i may or may not be bringing an additional blanket i don't know but i'm also going to bring a little bow that outfit does come with a little um hat like i showed you but i think i would rather her wear a cute little bow so depending on the other onesies or whatever sleepers that I pick I will most likely have a matching bow to go with those two. Diaper bag is something else that we're bringing so pretty much all of the baby stuff or like small things that I want to be able to get quickly I'm gonna put into the diaper bag. This is the freshly picked diaper bag in I don't remember what color this is it's like the dark the dark gray but I love it. It's leather. Love, 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 love the bag. It's way nicer in person than I expected it would be. I'm also bringing a passy, um, which is a controversial issue <laughs> with some people. But I'm going to have it just in case. This is just the Wubba Nub. It was already out. All of the other passies are still in their packaging because I want to make sure that she likes them before I take them out of the packaging. If she doesn't, I mean, you can sell them or whatever you want to do with them rather than opening all of them. So that, since this one's like already out and exposed, I figured I'd bring this one and I just stuck it in the side. And then inside of here, we're not really going to be bringing any diapers and wipes because the hospital supplies all of that. Something that I wanted to make sure is that I was super, super minimal. So if the hospital's going to have something, there's absolutely no use in me bringing another whatever it is. Um, but I did go ahead and put these in the diaper bag just because I kind of wanted to. Um, we got these out of like an Amazon gift box or something. A little pack of diapers, a little pack of wipes, and like a little pack of boogie wipes. So I just stuck that in there. I have no idea how to pack a diaper bag, so I really don't know what I'll put in here. But one thing I do have in here are the little, um, like, dirty diaper bags. Um, we are quite a ways away from our hospital, so we might end up having to change a diaper on our way home from the hospital. I don't know. I want to have somewhere to put it. So, trying to think of stuff that you would need in a diaper bag. Probably going to look up a list probably gonna start doing research on what to put in a diaper bag so that I can maybe do a video on what's in my diaper bag. Later if that's something that y'all will be interested in. That is all for baby. Now let's go to the other list. This list is just obviously for the other stuff. So um, one thing is camera tripod. This one has a an additional like little clip on the top for your phone if you want to put your phone on there or you can take that off and um, screw down your camera if you are a camera carrying person. Chargers for any devices that you're going to be bringing. Obviously those are still things that we're still using so I'm not going to pack any of those just yet. Along with batteries. So my camera obviously uses batteries so I'll make sure that I have the batteries to go along with the camera to go along with the chargers. Paperwork. If you have already pre-registered for the hospital obviously that's paperwork that you're going to want to bring with you. Um, or if you want to bring in a little thingy. We were gifted to this at our baby shower from one of my really close friends uh, and this is just something to put like her paperwork in I guess so like her birth certificate this has social security card important documents all the things or you can put them right in here so this will I guess I'm gonna take this with me so I can go ahead and put her stuff in there obviously your wallet with your insurance card stuff like that very important so make sure you bring that as well a nightlight is something that was requested and I'm trying to remember how to, there we go <laughs> this one was on my registry and I really wanted it because you can dim it and we're gonna use this in her nursery it gets very bright 
um, and we're also going to be using it in the hospital because they say when you're doing different things and maybe you're changing diapers or whatever's going on at night when you're in the hospital room there's so many the lights are so bright in there they recommend some kind of night light or something so you're not totally waking yourself up or the baby up and not causing a whole bunch of commotion so i was told to bring a night light this one I like because it's cordless and it has a home station you can charge it on, which is what we normally leave it sitting on in the nursery, but we can just pick it up and take it with us to the hospital. Headphones. Um, obviously there's gonna be a bunch of noise going on in there and if I wanna get some work done or if Cody wants to watch a movie and whatever, you <laughs> might need headphones. So just in case we need them, I wanted to make sure that I had them. Snacks was something else that a lot of people recommended because at night, if you're breastfeeding or just anything, um, it's cheaper than going to the vending machine. But if you wanna go to the vending machine, they also recommend you bring enough change and dollar bills or whatever to use that vending machine. But if you have like snack preferences, I would just go ahead and pack you some. Because at night when you're hungry and nothing's open, you're gonna want some food and it'll be a whole lot easier if the food's already in the room with you. And last but not least would be camera and laptop. Not everybody's gonna wanna bring those things, but we will be. Okay, so the longest list of all is the mama list. So let's just go ahead and jump into that list. First thing that was on my list is a nice comfy robe. This one is from Pink Blush in this very beautiful maroon, very fall color. I wanted something that was going to be comfy but no frills. Um, something I could definitely use after socks and I wanted to bring two different kinds kindred bravely sent me like a little package of some stuff and they had these socks in there and these socks say your feet will bring you to where your heart is and there's like little like baby feet on them so these have like the like the sticky bottom so you don't slip and fall on the floor and um, these are like really cushiony socks so there's kind of like regular socks but with like the no skid bottoms and then I wanted to also bring like some fuzzy I guess these aren't really fuzzy these are like those aloe socks these are like my favorite socks ever in the world are the aloe socks um, so I brought a pair of those I didn't think I needed all that much stuff I didn't want to be the one like I said that brought a bunch of stuff so I wanted to keep my socks kind of slim so that I can slide my shoes on speaking of shoes I decided to go with these and I may also be packing a pair of slippers haven't decided yet but I thought if I had on the socks to keep my feet warm I could just slide my feet right into these these are like knockoff Birkenstocks and I'm thinking maybe I can also like double use these as like a shower shoe to wear in the shower when you wash because it's nasty in there I mean it's a hospital they clean it but you know um, so I felt like maybe I could use those you know double purpose I wasn't sure um, let me know if you think that's crazy or not but I would like I said I'm not trying to bring a bunch of stuff so I feel like this should be all that I bring other than what's already on my feet when I get to the hospital I feel like this should be it hair ties was something that a lot a lot a lot of people recommended I will most likely already have my hair up because that's normally how it is it's already up in a bun um, but just to make sure I will bring two different styles I have like the silky scrunchy type and my um, like the no line leaving whatever what are these called? <laughs> Insta bobbles. I also have that and I have a little brush. <laughs> just a little one. And to keep up with my bows, not that you care, but I just wrapped them around the base of the brush so that I know where they're at. Nursing bra. I will most likely already have one on because I've been wearing them trying to break them in, but I'll bring another one as well in case it gets messed up or whatever. These I am obsessed with. These are one of the items that I was watching on Shop Tagger just to get the best possible deal. A lot of things I was like linking onto there so that I could make sure I got it at the right price. I did a lot of baby stuff like that too because you're buying so many different things like all at once seems like you want to get the best the best best price so before I purchased a lot of this stuff I went ahead back in the second trimester and um, just kept an eye on it to see what the price was going to be which is where shop tagger comes in super duper handy because it does the work for you so I'm not constantly checking every day to see the difference if there is a difference in price so they watch it for me um, but these were one of the things that I knew I needed really didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it because I'm just imagine it's going to get nasty you know what I mean um, so one of these just one nursing bra I think at Target was the price that I got for all three of these so I got these in a set of three and they're all different colors I have one on right now <laughs> but um I love these these are super comfy I know they'll be super comfy for me in the hospital so I would highly recommend these I'm gonna have all this stuff linked down below 
highly, highly, highly recommend these nursing bras. Speaking of nursing, we have a nursing tank, which I could possibly wear home under a cardigan with leggings. I still haven't decided on my coming home outfit. Leave me a comment down below what was your coming home outfit. I don't think I'm gonna wanna wear a dress. I'm just not that kind of gal. I feel like I'm gonna want some support down there. So leggings are probably gonna be my best bet. Some kind of like athleisure outfit. But I thought maybe this would be a pretty good thing to have if I wanted to wear it. But you wouldn't need to wear the bra with this because it has like, the, it's like a built-in bra tank. So you would just wear this and it's gonna give you some support because the bottom's nice and stretchy. I can wear this right now with a belly and I would assume you can wear it after just because it retracts itself back. It's not stretched out or anything from when I wore it. Nipple cream, another thing that was highly, highly recommended. This is called Nipple Butter from Earth Mama. Love Earth Mama. I love their stuff. Um, this, I've actually been putting on my lips too because it's just super moisturizing. It feels incredible. So I would imagine it would make your nipples feel good too. <laughs> um, I don't know if you'll need it as soon as being in the hospital. I have no idea, but I wanted to make sure I had it. I'll probably leave it in the diaper bag. Like I said, I'll have all like the tiny little things that I can easily grab um, in that bag. So necessity. Some people do this, some people don't. I was actually debating on it and then my really good friend Brittany decided she was going to send me a push present so she sent me all these goodies and this was one of them so this was something like I said I was kind of debating on getting or not um, because obviously like I said the hospital supplies you with stuff so why bring your own if they supply it because you're already paying for it anyway um, so a hospital gown was one of those things where I'm like do I really want to get one um, I did because I didn't want my butt hanging all out because you know you're kind of exposed but these I really love these it buttons all the way down the back and it unbuttons here on the front on both sides to easily nurse or do skin to skin if you're getting an epidural so I need to get to your back so it opens back there but this also came with a matching pillowcase so you can just be extra bougie up in the hospital so if you are bringing a hospital if you're about that life and you want your own hospital gown this does feel good I have wore gowns from the hospital before and they're like super itchy I think this will make me feel a little bit more cozy and not so sterile you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know um but i do plan on washing this with the baby stuff too so that it can all be baby ready next we have two different outfits and i'm just going to wear pjs pretty much the whole time i'm in there i'm not going to get dressed up for nobody i want to be as comfortable as possible and um here is a kindred bravely like nightgown kind of thing but you can nurse in it so i don't know if i'm going to want to wear a nightgown in there or not but i have that as an option i also picked these pjs up which is something that i know i'll definitely wear these are just like the regular button down ones and these are super easy to nurse with because you can just easily button down the front of them and those are something that i can wear for a long time after and those just come with like the capri bottoms makeup bag is something else that i'm not packing just yet because i'm still using it so that will go on my short list of things to make sure i grab before we leave and that'll just have like my, literally my basic face in there because i don't foresee me putting on much of anything we are doing the fresh 48 photos in the hospital so i will want to put on a little bit and so i'm just literally bringing the bare minimum i am not putting on lashes and all the things in the hospital chap stick this came highly recommended all the heavy breathing and all the things going on your lips are going to get chapped if they're anything like mine they have been extra chapped now you can use that nipple cream like i said because you can do that too but i wanted to make sure i had some other stuff because you do have to like kind of scoop that out with your finger this one's just gonna be a lot easier this one's the aqua four lip repair make sure it feels super super good so i'm bringing that as well i'm not going to be bringing any curling tools or blow dryers or anything like that i will most likely have my hair in a bun pretty much the entire time <laughs> this is something that i think is new i don't think a lot of people normally talk about this but this is the after ease for pregnancy i want to say you put a couple drops under your tongue um full in water oh no this says 
in your water. <laughs> I thought you just put it under your tongue. See, I don't even know. But this helps with those after cramps. So, you know, everything's trying to, you know, contract back to your uterus is trying to go back to its normal size and it starts then while you're in the hospital. So you're still having contractions after. And I was told that this makes it easier. I don't know how, I don't know if it works, but I was willing to give anything a try to make my life a whole lot easier. So, Hopefully this works. Like I mentioned for the daddy list, we also have something to wash with, toothpaste and deodorant. As mentioned, we're gonna use the same toothpaste. We'll have separate toothbrushes. <laughs> we'll use separate deodorants, but we'll use the same thing to wash with just so we're not packing a whole bunch of stuff. Some extra things that I'm not really sure if I'm gonna pack yet. We're gonna wait and see how full this bag gets and then I'll see if I have any room. This was another item that I had on my shop tagger list so I could keep an eye on it to make sure that I was getting it at the best price possible and it's just one of those like belly band things this was one of the higher rated ones and it's like a three in one so you have like a stomach belt a waist belt and a pelvis belt and I know I want to say that some people say that their hospital actually you can ask for a belt in there if you've had like a c-section or something um, I'm not really sure this is our first baby and I'm not scheduled for a c-section at this time unless something were to happen but it as of right now she's head down and i guess she's just gonna be delivered regular <laughs> i don't know um but i was told to get one of these not everybody wears these but i feel like it's gonna make me feel more secure and if anything will help me like contract back to where i need to i'm up for it so i don't know if i'm gonna bring that or not yet some people say they didn't even worry about it until they got home so like i said i don't know but if you wore these how did you do it? Did you take it with you or did you not wear it till you got back home? Lastly, these are something, like I said, extra because if the hospital's supplying it, why would I bring it? But these are just some briefs and you want something that's kind of a high rise. I am going to be wearing the always discreet boutique bottoms, but because the hospital will give you those mesh panties and pads, I was going to use all of those that the hospital gave me. And when I got home, I would transition into those always pads. But I did get some panties just in case. I did not have any like this, like the brief style. Um, and I didn't want to get anything that was expensive because if you're going to mess these up because of all of the things that are happening down there, you definitely don't want to get something that you can possibly mess up. You know what I mean? I don't think I'll be taking any pads with me to the hospital. They're going to supply them. And I don't know if I'm going to take these or not. I haven't decided. Okay, guys, that is it for what is in our hospital bags. I thought that was a pretty minimal list. If you think that there is something that I absolutely missed that I have to to have with me leave me a comment down below i do not want to be without things if i necessarily need it i think this is going to be it though i think i did a pretty good job of researching and rounding all of this stuff up and packing it together the packing it together thing is going to be yes i already had it kind of packed and then i had to unpack it for this video but that's totally fine i wanted to make sure that i could help y'all as much as i possibly could but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new so that you can see when this baby comes into this world as of today we have 29 days 29 days until her due date so any minute now any minute now tater tot will join us <sighs> And yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye.